Nikki Baiba and it is Wednesday again, so here's my newest video. Today we are going to talk about how to rent a property in Riga. So you have decided to move to Riga or just visit it for the short term. There are many ways how to find apartments in Riga, but of course, internet is the most effective one. If you're staying in Riga for short term, you can visit webpage www.airbnb.com and there you will find some very very nice apartments for short terms. In the Facebook there is this group, Riga Student Market. Often in this group students are looking for some roommates or when they're actually done with med school they're selling their stuff. So make sure you join this group before you move to Riga. Then there is this page called ss.lv. You can also view it in English. There you can find a property which you can rent and you can even buy it. In this page not only landlords are renting out properties, but also companies are renting out properties. What does it mean, you would ask? It means that actually company is middleman between you and the landlord. It might also mean that you will need to pay him a little bit extra since he did a job so you could meet your landlord, but you will see it then. After you have decided which apartment or room you like, make sure that you get a contract and also make sure that all the smallest details are written down in the contract. Your name, surname, all the details, what kind of payments you're gonna have. If your landlord is saying that he cannot actually sign a contract or anything like that, actually don't agree to take that apartment because that sounds like a scam and you don't want to be scammed in this country. While you're gonna sign your contract, you're also gonna need to pay some deposit. Deposit depends on the landlord. In some apartments it's two months rent, in other apartments it's two months rent plus deposit money. Deposit money assures that it's gonna cover the losses if you're gonna break something in the apartment. Make sure that in your contract it's written down how much you're paying the deposit. The payment for an apartment is usually divided into two parts. One is rent and that is not changing during the year. But other one is utilities. In utilities you will find heating, water, gas and electricity. Those are the things which are changing during the year because Eating in the winter is much more than in summer, right? If you live together with your friends and you're sharing an apartment, it might also happen that you're paying the same amount every month and the only thing which is changing is electricity. But how much does it cost to live in Riga, you will ask me? And I will answer you this. It depends. Of course it depends. Depends where you live in, how big is the apartment, but I can show you some examples. For example, one room apartment around 30, 35 square meters could be, rent could be 230 euros, utilities in winter time could be around 100 euros, so you end up around 330 for one room apartment. I know some people who are living in two room apartments and they're paying for rent 450 plus utilities it goes around 5-600 in a month. It depends where you're living and how you're living. But if you're renting together with some of your friends it could be also 200 euros per room plus electricity which is not that expensive. If you get actually something like that you can consider yourself pretty pretty lucky. But why? But what about internet? Don't worry my friend, internet connection in Riga and Latvia is pretty good. Most of the apartments actually have already internet connections or if some surprisingly way they don't, then you will be allowed to have a cable in your apartment. That costs around 15-16 euros per month. Make sure before you sign the contract that all the details are written down and that you understand what are you gonna pay for and what are your rights? After you have looked at the apartment and you have signed the contract, you got the key, I wish you good luck with your life in Riga! Thank you my little friend for watching today. Make sure you subscribe so you can see the newest videos. Next week I'm gonna find if there are any English talking hairdressers in Riga. And bye bye from bye bye!